Hello everyone, this is The Question, and I am back with my manga haul for the month of April 2023. As you can see here, a little bit smaller haul than the last few months, but it makes up for it, which with one of the most exciting pickups that I've gotten in the longest while, a series that I'm super excited to read. You might be able to tell what it is in this picture, uh, but yeah, let's get right into this haul. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments anything that you have any questions about or anything that you think I should pick up that I didn't pick up that came out and let's get right into it. Okay, so first off we have two bundles I got from Reddit Swaps. First, we have some of the Gunslinger Girl omnibuses. So someone was selling, I already have the one through three, so the very first omnibus. And so I also picked up here, four through six, and seven, eight, and then 11, 12. So three omnibuses that I got here for just a little bit above retail. These are out of print. Uh, hopefully Seven Seas does reprint them. They're kind of a similar size to the Frank and Fran and Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, which are two series that Seven Seas did reprint recently. So hopefully these are next because I'd like to be able to get the remaining ones that I don't have for a decent price. And then this next bundle here is kind of unfortunate because I bought this. Uh, I had back ordered these, this series from Right Stuff, or from, yeah, from Right Stuff months ago and I didn't know if they were ever going to get more in and of course not two days after I ordered this set which I got them for cheaper than retail but still um, my I got a shipping confirmation from right stuff that they're being sent to me so now I will have doubles of these that I'll need to sell off and that is Kaze-san so I already had one and seven and now I have book two book three book four book five and book six. So if anybody was looking to pick this series up, it is, it did just get reprinted. So all of the ones, the, all these ones here uh, just got sent to me um, by right stuff. I just haven't received them yet. So I'll have an extra set to sell off here soon. And that was everything from Reddit. Okay, I only picked up one book from Macari this month and that was Wild Calm. This is an out of print uh, Viz release. Uh, it is a short story collection by Yumi Tamura, who is the same creator who did Basura and a bunch of other series. And this is a creator that I've wanted to get into uh, some of her works. And uh, this one I was able to get for a decent price. This is hard to find, uh, but I do enjoy short story collections and uh, don't think I'm going to be getting Basura at any time soon. So glad to grab this one. And then next I have a complete series that I picked up from eBay. This is the only pickup I got from eBay this month. And this is, I got all five volumes of Phantom Dream. I did just read Fruits Basket this month. I really enjoyed it. And so I wanted to check out some other stuff by the creator. And this is one, I think this is like a series even before Fruits Basket. And this is Phantom Dream. So it's got kind of middle of the road reviews, but it's a shorter series. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So we got one, two, and it wasn't very expensive. So three, four. And you can definitely tell that they were writing off the Fruits Basket popularity with this release because we've got it from the creators of Fruit Basket right on the cover. And they also even put it on the spine just so that you know, um, and then the back. So we got three stamps on here telling you that this is from the creators. Uh, from the creator of Fruits Basket, just to make sure that you were aware uh, if you were looking for something in that vein. So that was everything from eBay. Okay, so next I have a couple Amazon third-party pickups. Uh, like I mentioned, I was getting some stuff by that fruit ba Fruits Basket creator, and this is a short story collection, Songs to Make You Smile. Another one that's got pretty middle-of-the-road reviews, but um, this one was super cheap. I think even shipped, it was like $5. So, um, and it's in really good shape, not a library copy or anything like that. So got that one. 
And lastly, this is a one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while by that same creator uh, who did Basura, and that is Chicago. I had I picked up volume one months ago. Uh, volume two was the harder to find one, and I was able to find a copy of this for retail, and that uh, so that completes this shorter series. So this is Chicago, volume two, and this is another older Viz release. And so that, that was it from Amazon. Normally I go to a lot of local used bookstores in the area to pick stuff up, but because I had gotten so much stuff from other places, I didn't really do much, uh, much shopping at local places this month. So I only got two volumes from a local bookstore. And so first off we have The Alchemist Who Survived Now Dreams of a Quiet City Life, volume one. Haven't heard anything about this one, haven't seen any mentions of it. Uh, just kind of randomly grabbed it, flipped through it, thought it looked like something I would enjoy and checked and, and grabbed it. So looking forward to seeing if this is any good. And then same thing here. This one was a fairly recent new release, I think, uh, but I didn't pre-order it and I heard good things about it. So I grabbed this. Uh, this is volume one of I'm Kind of Chubby and I'm Your Hero. Um, just a really cute uh, slice of life series. Uh, it ends at two volumes, so we only got one more volume left. Uh, but I did already, I read this this month and this was really cute. Um, I, it, at least in this first volume, I've heard it mentioned that it's boys love. At least in this first volume, it's there's not really any romance in it. It's more just uh, someone supporting someone else. But just a really cute first volume. Um, really looking forward to seeing volume two and it get wrapped up. And I only had one Barnes and Noble pickup this month and that was a pre-order from one of the pre-order coupons that happened months ago. And so we have Tales of the Kingdom, Volume 3, and these really nice hardcovers from Yen Press. I have still not started reading this series, but uh, I will continue to get them because they're in these really nice hardcovers. And that was everything from Barnes & Noble. And next up we have, I got one pickup directly from Glacier Bay, and that is Pandora. So this is a really nice release. Let's see here. And if you don't know, Glacier Bay is a smaller independent uh, manga publisher who releases a lot of more independent books. And so it came with this kind of art print and then also a bookmark. And as you can see, it's kind of got a nice watercolor style to it. Uh, I wasn't a, the biggest fan of Ripples, which is the other Glacier Bay released by this creator. Um, it, it was fine, but it just didn't really connect with me that much. But I really like supporting Glacier Bay and you know, hope, hope that we get you know, even, even more releases from them. So I picked this up even though I wasn't sure uh, if I was gonna enjoy it, but really good release. Really looking forward to giving it a shot. And that is Pandora by Glacier Bay Books. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to write stuff and I split stuff between all my pre-orders I'll show you next, but first I'm gonna start off with all my back order and sale stuff that I received this month. So starting off, we have My Love Story Volume 13. So I think with this, I think I'm still missing one, maybe two volumes to have the complete set of this. Um, we have a Tokyo Pop one shot, and that is The Treasure of the King and the Cat. This was on sale sometime last month and you know i like cats this look cute so i decided to grab it uh there they restocked a bunch of made in abyss volumes so i now have the complete set of this so we have volume two volume four volume seven and volume ten so i now have the complete set of this and this is one of those sets that it's insanely popular. I don't know, I see people selling sets of this for like over $500 all the time. And with its popularity, you knew that it was gonna be uh, restocked, you know, it, they weren't gonna let it go out of stock. So, you know, definitely wait, wait on picking this up. Pre-orders or, or restocks are happening. Don't, don't rush to spend hundreds of dollars when you don't need to. And then next we have, like I mentioned, I finished reading Fruits Basket. So the very first thing I did when I finished is went ahead and ordered the four volumes of uh, Fruits Basket, another 
This is a, I, I haven't started reading this yet, but I assume this is a sequel series. And I haven't really heard too many great things about this follow-up, but I, it's only four volumes, so I want to give it a shot. And then another series by this creator that is, uh, one of the volumes is actually out of print, which sucks, because I was hoping to be able to get this full set. And that is Twinkle Stars uh, in these really nice larger Yen Press um, omnibuses. And so they had in stock at Right Stuff, volume one, volume three, volume four, and volume five, which is the final one. And so volume two is actually completely gone. It's been removed from the website, from Right Stuff's website. So it's not one of the ones that's, you know, usually says out of stock, expecting more soon. So this series is out of print. Obviously there's always the chance that Yen Press might reprint it, but thankfully I was able to, on Amazon, on a third party seller, find someone selling volume two for uh, lower than retail and uh, that is being shipped to me. So I should have that by my next haul. Hopefully that's a good condition copy. Um, so that way I can read through Twinkle Stars. Really looking forward to this series. I have heard really good things about it. And that was all the Right Stuff backordered uh, books that came in this month. Okay, so now moving on to all the pre-orders. So a ton of pre-orders came in this month. So a lot of books. First off, we have Ascendance of a Bookworm. This is part two, volume six. I got all of the volumes of this series in a sale, I think maybe two months ago. I have not started reading it yet. Uh, these are J Novel Club manga volumes. Pretty sure this is only J Novel Club series I have. There's that. We have Adam the Beginning, Volume 4. We have another Attack on Titan omnibus. So I think we're getting near the end here. I'm not super well versed in Attack on Titan. I think it ended at 34. Not too sure, but so here is 28, 29, 30. We have Box of Light Volume 2, really great cover here. Uh, not a lot of, a bunch of people didn't care for Volume 1, but I thought it was fairly interesting. Uh, looking forward to checking out Volume 2. We have a highly regarded series, Boys Abyss. So we have Volume 1 here, really great artwork on this cover. The final volume of a Yuri series, Catch These Hands Volume 4. I did read Volume 1, it was really good. Um, about girls who were rivals in high school and then they meet later on and end up uh, deciding to go out. We have a new series that I haven't heard too much about, just kind of on a whim added it to my pre-orders and that was Cinderella Closet Volume 1. We have Daemons of the Shadow Realm. This is the first volume of a new series by the creator of Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. This is a Square Enix release. Uh, it's fairly small, a lot smaller than I was expecting. Kind of here's your standard kind of manga volume size. This one is a little shorter. And then we have Die Dark Volume 5, another shorter series. At least in size of books, it is, yep, exactly the same size. So. We have Dandadan, Volume 3, a really great cover here. Nice back cover. We have the final volume of Ennio Asano's Dead Dead Demons, DDD Destruction, Volume 12. So this completes this. This is, I think, the only Ennio Asano book I own that I haven't read, so I haven't even started this series. I was waiting for it to get completed, so now I can finally read through this. And then we have Doomsday with My Dog Volume 2. If you read my, or watched my March reading log, Volume 1 was one of the best things I read in March and uh, really looking forward to continuing this series. It is full color, lots of dialogue, lots of fun interactions between this lady and her dog. Okay, so next we have 
The Girl from the Other Side in these really nice deluxe edition hardcovers. This is the third one. Can't remember how many there's gonna be of these, either maybe five, um, but just really nice releases here. We have a new series, and that is Happy Crappy Life, Volume 1. This is another one. I don't know too much about it. Haven't really heard of anything about this creator. Just looked. The artwork looked, you know, looked different, so I figured I would check it out. We have Volume 18 of Hina Matsuri. When I very first started collecting this series, I think I picked up like the first 10 volumes and I thought the series was complete at that when I decided to pick it up and it's still going and we're now at volume 18. We have 25 of Kaguya-sama Love is War. This I think is wrapping up fairly shortly. Kaiju number eight, volume six. Very underrated new series. We have the Knights, the Night Blooms Behind Castle Walls. Really enjoyed volume one, great slice of life uh, series. The series that never ends, Comey Can't Communicate, volume 24. k -On Shuffle, volume one. Um, I picked up k -On the complete omnibus edition, maybe last month or the month before. I have not read it yet, but this is a uh, continuation series with different characters, I think. So looking forward to checking that out once I finish up or, or actually read through the regular omnibus. We have Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 3. Fantastic artwork in this series. I read Volume 1, loved it. Um, we'll continue reading it once it's completed. Maruko Chan Volume 7. Moriarty the Patriot, Volume 11. My Dress Up Dar Darling, Volume 8. I feel like Volume 7 just came out. I think it was in my last haul. So now we have Volume 8. My Love Mix Up, Volume 7. A new series. Uh, of course, I was going to pick this up. My New Life as a Cat, Volume 1. Look at this cover. It is just for me. I don't know if this is going to be any good but it says they're a perfectly hilarious rom-com manga series. So obviously this is gonna be a five out of five for me. There's that. Next we have another My Cat series, and that is My Sister the Cat, volume two. It continues volumes one of just this really nice cover feel. The whole book just has this really nice feel to it. I don't even know how to describe it. It looks kind of like sandpaper and it kind of has a little bit of a sandpaper feel but not quite as rough, just a really nice done cover. We have number six, Omnibus Two. Looking forward to checking out this series. I think there's only three Omnibuses. Phantom of the Idol, Volume Five. Rainbow Days, Volume Three. Romantic Killer Volume 3. I think Volume 4 is the final volume of this. Run on Your New Legs Volume 4. Sengoku Yuko, I think, Volume 1. This is by the same creator who did Spirit Circle, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, and some other series. Really great looking cover here. Shonen Note Boy Soprano Volume 3. I really enjoyed Volume 1. Really great covers here, nice colors. I think this ends in eight volumes, somewhere around there. So there's that. We have another short story collection and that is Tatsuki Fujimoto before Chainsaw Man 2226. If you are aware, I didn't really care for Chainsaw Man, but I did really enjoy the first one of these. So I'm really looking forward to checking out this one and hope it is as good as that first short story collection of his was. We have Tista or Tista Volume One. This is by the creator of Spy Family, and this is a short two-volume ser series, so not much of an investment to check it out. To Your Eternity Volume 18. I know Prof Otaku really hated this arc of this series. I have not even started reading any of this series, so I don't know if that's gonna be the case that I'm gonna hate the second arc or not, but Still picking it up. Uh, we'll start reading it once it is completed. 
We have the latest Tokyo Revengers Omnibus. This is 910. Another really great cover. We have Subaki Chow, Lonely Planet Volume 3. Great colors on this cover. Great colors on the back. We have World and Solte Volume 2. Okay, so that was all my right stuff pre-orders. And now let's get into the thing I'm most excited that I got this month. This is a series that has been my most anticipated to read series in forever by my favorite manga creator. And so this is a series, just to let you know, is not looking like it's gonna ever be printed in English. There is no legal way to read this in English. And it doesn't, you know, it's one of those series where even the creator says he doesn't see it being released in English. So I went ahead and ordered self prints of this series and that is Billy Bat. So I have all 20 volumes of Billy Bat and these really nice looking self prints with great cover art. Really nice colored spines. Let me show a bunch of the color spines. So yeah, so the spines really look really nice on the shelf. So we have four, five, six. And yeah, this is just a series that ever since I heard about it and I got really into Urasawa, this is one that I really wanted to check out. And I kept waiting every year for an announcement that they were gonna be releasing this in English and it never happened. And like I said, there's no, you can't even read it digitally, uh, legally, you know, obviously there's, um, you know, illegal ways to read this in English. Um, but yeah, so if this, if they ever do release this in English, if, if it ever does get a nice Viz release in kind of the omnibus form that they released Monster or 20th Century Boys, I will definitely pick up the official versions, but I, really want to read this series and so this will be now that i've received this this will jump to the top of my list and i will be reading this in april there we go there's 15 16 17 18 and so the only other self prints that I had was I had the, when I bought my, my set of Wandering Sun, uh, the person who I bought them off also provided the self prints of the final three uh, volumes that were not included, that never got released in English. And these are way better quality than those were. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to checking this out. And that was it for my pickups for the month of April. Okay, so that was it for my haul for the month of April. Like I said in the beginning, have any questions, let me know. Anything you wanna discuss, let me know in the comments. I will have my reading log for April up in the probably next week and a half to two weeks. I'm gonna to try to space them out a little, little more so it's not two videos, one right after another. But, uh, but yeah, that was it. Everybody have a great month of May and I'm looking forward to getting into Billy Bat, obviously.